Today I share my top 5 hospital bag must to take care of your lady bits right after delivery. But first, make sure you subscribe to my channel and sign up for the notifications so you don't miss any of my future releases. Having what you need to take care of your lady bits right after birth can make a world of a difference to manage pain and swelling in the perineal area. And that's funny, you know, as a pelvic health physio, I just thought I so knew what to expect down there after giving birth, but experiencing it for real was a whole other thing. I remember waking up a few hours after birth and having to use the washroom and I just felt so incredibly overwhelmed with how to manage this whole area. You know, the swelling, the pain, the blood, the stitches, all of it, right? And I felt so grateful for being prepared and having everything on hand to deal with it at the moment. So today I'm so happy to share with you the top five products that made the most difference for me to take care of my lady bits after birth and feel comfortable. And I'll put the links for each product in the description below if you want to check them out. So the first thing I would highly, highly, highly recommend is a Perry bottle. You might be wondering, why do I need this? <laughs> well, because after a vaginal birth, you're going to be swollen down there. You may also be dealing with stitches from a perineal tear, hemorrhoids or anal fissures from your pushing stage. Um, and there's also gonna be some bleeding, right? So obviously you will want to keep this area clean to promote healing, but also just feel more comfortable and fresh down there, right? Um, but the last thing you will want to do is to rub that area with toilet paper after you use the washroom. I'm sure you will understand at that point. It's like the least <laughs> like comfortable thing ever. Um, so that is why you will want to use the Perry bottle to gently cleanse the area with water and avoid using toilet paper. The important part when you select a Perry bottle is to get one with a curved ending like this. This way you'll be able to sit on the toilet, put that in between your legs and the water will just kind of pour upward onto your lady bits. I know some hospitals and birth centers provide peri bottles for their patients, but oftentimes they're the most basic models like this one with a straight ending. So in order to use that, you'll have to be almost like standing and tilt it up, right? Because you want the water to go down towards the opening. And then it'll just like pour all over the toilet seat and you're just gonna be frustrated with it and you'll stop using it, is what's gonna happen. So um, that's why you really wanna use something with the curve ending so it's comfortable for you and it leaves your toilet area clean. To use the Perry bottle, fill it up with water at the temperature of your choice. I know personally I really like warm water, um, but you may wanna try different temperatures and see what feels best. And you can also add witch hazel or Epsom salt to your water to promote healing and decrease pain and inflammation. Now you're gonna sit on the toilet and you place the peri bottle in between your legs and the ending should be near the perineum. And you're gonna press on the bottle to spray the water over the perineum, vulva area and anus as needed. Then you're gonna pat dry the area either with a clean toilet paper or cloth. And if you want, you could also use a hair dryer if you really don't wanna touch the area. You can use your peri bottle for as long as you want after birth uh, and use it after number one and number two. Uh, I think I personally used it for three or four weeks after birth. But some people may use it just for a few days, a week or two, and some may even use it longer, right? If you've had an episiotomy and it takes more time to heal or a third or fourth degree tear, then uh, for sure you will wanna use it maybe a little longer until it's comfortable. The second item I would recommend is Tux Wipes. This is something you can get in most pharmacies or online. Basically, they're wipes that are pre-soaked with witch hazel and witch hazel promotes healing. They are advertised to soothe pain from hemorrhoids, but they are totally indicated for perineal tears as well, just to overall soothe the area. You can use your tuck wipes to gently wipe the area after using your peri bottle, for example. 
I'd say like more so in the second or third week after birth because in the first week the idea of wiping anything down there can be very scary and uncomfortable. For example, you could use it for like, you know, cleaning dry blood um, in the perineum area that the peri bottle cannot really clean properly. But some people also just leave the wipe there on the perineum to soothe the area and manage pain. Um, you can simply replace them a few times a day or after you use the washroom. The third item I would highly recommend are the Frida Instant Ice Maxi Pads. Icing the perineum after birth just feels amazing <laughs> and it helps to reduce swelling and pain. I used to tell my clients to make their own padsicles where you fill up menstrual pads with water and you put them in the freezer and then you can apply them on the perineum, put them in your underwear after birth. But after trying them myself, I actually did not like the sensation of being damp down there when the ice from the pads was melting. I just wanted to feel dry and clean and you know, the padsicles just felt gross and I don't know, I just didn't like them. Fortunately, I had brought a few instant ice maxi pads from Frida Baby in my hospital bag and they were honestly the best thing. So it's basically an absorbent pad that you crack and it becomes instantly cold. You then place it in your underwear and it stays cold for about 20 to 30 minutes. And it also works as a pad to address postpartum bleeding. So basically you're, you're staying dry, right? Because it's kind of a, the, the cold comes from a chemical reaction. My only regret is that I only had two or three of them from my clinic. So I ran out pretty quick and I just wish I had a full box of them. The thing I did not like about them is that they're a single use product and I don't like it for the environment in general. But honestly, I just feel like it's so worth making an exception in this case because um, they're quite a bit more effective, comfortable, all of that than the menstrual pads options but of course they're a little more expensive too. Otherwise, if you wanna go for a greener option, I know of a product called Vagicool, Cool, which is a reusable perineal cool pack that comes with washable sleeves and you can definitely like place it on your perineum on top of your pad. I was not aware of the existence of that product when I gave birth, so I can't tell you what I think about it since I haven't tried it myself. But if you go for it, you may want to have two of them so you can rotate them through the day and avoid like having to wait for the next one to be cold in order to be able to use it. The fourth item I would recommend is a sits bath. I was lucky that the nurse at my hospital, Laura, thank you so much, gave me one because this is not something I had planned on and it was just such a bliss to soak my perineum in that sitz bath after giving birth. She even gave me some Epsom salt to add to it, which is so lovely. Honestly, like sitz baths are not that expensive. So if your hospital doesn't provide them, you can find them in most pharmacies or you can order them online. So what you'll do is you'll fill it up with water. And again, like the peri bottle, you can add witch hazel or Epsom salt in your water. Then you place it on top of your toilet and you soak your bum in it for a few minutes to clean and soothe the area. It's like basically a spa session for you lady bits. So, you know, it's probably going to be the only moment you'll have for yourself in the first few days. So you should definitely take your time, take a deep breath and enjoy it. I recommend doing sits bath once a day for two to three weeks after birth. Sometimes people do it just every few days depending on their level of soreness and swelling. But I would highly recommend to use it as much as you can right after birth because it is a game changer for healing tears and hemorrhoids and what have you. I have some clients who forgot to use it for the first few weeks and saw a major improvement in the speed of their healing once they started using it. So if you don't use one at the hospital, at least make sure you get one for home. And the last item I would recommend to bring in your hospital bag to take care of your lady bits after birth is mesh underwear. Again, this is not something I had to buy because my hospital gave me a bunch of them and I was so grateful. Um, but if you wanna be on the safe side, you can get some online uh, before you give birth. They are honestly so comfortable uh, because they don't have a tight elastic around the waist and they hold well and have large coverage. You can put gigantic absorbent pads in them and they will stay in place and it's just like, yeah, they're the best. 
in terms of how many you may have you may want to have i would say probably seven or ten of them like plan on using basically one a day for at least a week and again this is a single use item so you will throw them out after use but if you're looking for like a more env environment friendly option you could go for large boy shorts um, some moms use their partner's underwear, but um, of course they tend to have tighter elastics around the waist, so it may not be as comfortable as the mesh ones. Now, if you're interested in having a full comprehensive plan to prepare for birth and postpartum, I support pregnant mamas from all over the world in my online program so they feel prepared and confident for their birth experience and recover as fast as possible after birth. So if you'd like to chat with me over a discovery call, um, apply in the description below. I'll be super happy to chat with you. Now, if you have any questions about the items I recommend in this video, feel free to shoot them in the comments below and I'll happily answer them. Thanks for watching.